Taurus, how are you getting on guys? Okay, so this is your reading. Okay, so I think I've done Gemini first before Taurus, but hey ho, doesn't matter. So I'm back off my journey. How are you doing? <laughs> I'm back off my journey. So um, I've got some free time. Um, so if anybody wants a personal reading, please send me an email and I'll hopefully be able to hook you up, um, hopefully soon. Okay, so if you want one, there's an email in the description. There's loads. I've just come back off holiday, so there's loads of new subscribers. So I'm going to have to go for a little bit of a spiel, but I might do it towards the end. <laughs> um, and it's early. <laughs> I'm trying to get everything done. Okay. So, but if you want a personal reading, it's in the uh, description below. Just send me an email, and I'll hopefully be able to hook you up. Okay. So, this is the same process as it has been through, the, uh, through how I've been doing it recently. Okay. Uh, this is going to be in your bi-weekly folder. And this is obviously for the last half of April, from the 15th to the 30th, okay? So, uh, like I say, it will be in your bi-weekly folder. Um, and there's a, still a buy-all option, still $19 for three months, three-month access. Everything I put in there, there will be personal stuff that I put in there also that will only really be for people that have the buy-all option, okay? But there will still be an option to buy those, the bonus ones, singly, if you want the single readings. But it's all over there. It's like three, three pound, four, four dollars, or whatever for the single, for the rest of it, or buy all option. It's still there. And there's two different folders: monthlies and biweeklies. They're both different, but they both have the same option. Okay, so <sighs> relax, breathe, Taurus, breathe. Now, for some reason, your cards were flying out left, right, and centre when I was trying to do this. Okay, so you've got a lot, a lot of busy stuff going on. I'm feeling. Um, but for some reason, I can't seem to feel, and I'm going cold, I can't seem to feel anybody in your energy, not really. I think this reading is going to be more about you, but I don't know. But I kind of, I have that feeling that I can't feel someone, mm, I don't know, probably not actually on a mundane level, but probably in your energy, but not like in your life but in your energy still I'm kind of whether that's relating to you or not but I'm going to give that message out of what I hear and when I go cold that's pretty much me but we'll see <coughs> so <coughs> excuse me um so first card <laughs> sorry I'm trying to get over kind of um stopping smoking and everything else anyway so um let's see so uh ten of pentacles so first impression the self and the appearance and the leadership, the first house, the karma card. So it would have to be a 10, right? It would have to be a 10. So we're pretty much looking at, we're looking at an ending, but also a beginning, but something financial and something stable, something more committed and grounded, okay? So if we're looking at a partnership, it could be like an ending to something, but it could also be a beginning. And that is why this is so difficult as a beginning card as karma, because this is the self and the appearance and the leadership. So a lot of you could just be interested in work, and that is maybe why I was picking up on that energy of not feeling someone like in your life. I think they're in your energy, but not in your life as yet. Um, so I'm kind of picking up someone that you may meet or or that like you have met, but it's still trying to come through. So if I'm relating this to work, I'm kind of think that you might be like looking for work or waiting for something to come in about work. Um, but overall, as a first card, it's kind of like an ending to financial struggle, but also waiting for some kind of opportunity for something to grow bigger, okay? So it might mean that you're more considered on being single and you're really concentrating on work, okay? If it's to do with love, I mean, if it's to do with work, it's a great card, really, for a... <laughs> it is a good card, and it's some of you are probably experiencing extreme amounts of wealth, okay? Some of you could be experiencing financial loss, maybe, okay? But there's different timelines, because it's a 10. It's also a beginning of a new project, a new project. As a leader... People see you as someone that will go forward fearlessly in order to earn respect and to also earn money yourself, like not be reliant on someone else in order to tell you how to earn finances and stability within your home for your children and for people that you care for and for people that you're looking after. But as a leadership kind of card and a first impression, Someone's first impression of you is pretty much someone that knows how to balance out their checkbook and to how to, to bring in abundance. 
So you might be meditating or, or something in order to bring something into fruition. If it is to do with love, I think you're more concentrated on trying to bring in an energy source of someone that's more commitment material. Okay, so then we go on to how they see you or you them. This is either how you see them or how they see you. If you've got someone that you're in a ship with, then this is how they see you. Okay, okay. Sorry, Taurus. Okay, so we're going to the Five of Cups. So someone's trying to get over something. So if you're interested in the person that you're interested in, they are interested in obviously a third party if you are involved in one. They're trying to get over that person and you're waiting for them to, well, you could be waiting for them to give you financial support. So if you're married, if you're married, this is someone that's um, wanting like child benefit maybe, waiting for child benefit or some kind of paperwork maybe to come through or some kind of financial support and while you are this is really not a good energy to have uh taurus you know i'm going to admit to you because this is a low vibration okay low vibration entities or feelings of do not bring in wealth or they do not bring in clarity because law of attraction something that i'm really hitting home in my readings now something that i used to hear see and write about a long time ago was law of attraction okay how your vibration and vitality of life is if it's extremely low the mind will create static okay will create static so it will leave you confused so if you're confused what you put out is what you get back okay so if you're putting out that well i want money but I want love also, but I'm low about it. You're confusing. You're, you're confusing spirit. It doesn't have to be a human being, okay? Because you have two different energies. You also have a beginning and a, and a loss, but you have a loss. So this means that your vibration level of what it's resonating with the universe is confusing. So this could be them. This could be them that's attached to you as what I call the dark passenger. The dark passenger of a hitchhiker that can keep you at a low vibration. It means like an entity as well, it can mean like an entity. So it can also mean like spiritual attack. It doesn't Don't freak out, if you know about them, you know about them. This is when an attachment can make you feel so low that it tries to build you up over time to put you on your path of ascension, okay? Which will then bring in stability within yourself within home life and within financial support, okay? When you're more reliant on someone else, you're not concentrating on yourself. So spirit will always say, and what I always say, is who's more important, you or anybody else, okay? That doesn't mean that you have to be egotistical or egocentric, it just means that you need to focus more on your energy of your chi, of your chi because chi is key <laughs> trust me i used to do um i used to do wing chun okay and it was more about fighting without fighting it was more about energy source of feeling feeling of holding it in your hand okay you can feel energy well i can <laughs> sorry well i can and i can feel that this is a low a low vibration it's someone that can stop financial support because it's block it's a block and a guard it's someone that's guarded and someone that's blocked and that they're more concentrated on things that they lose in life in the things that they actually gain so there's a loss and a gain and this is either how they see you or how you see them okay so it's very important to raise your vibration and vitality of life and live life while you're here you know as human beings we are physically still here as a soul of when you become spiritual, you can leave yourself open to spiritual attack where people will help you grow, essentially, after time, okay? Because this is also a long time, because this is 10 of pentacles, this could be 10 years. It could be 10 years. Some of you, it could be one year. Probably not, but 10 years. 10 years. <clears throat> it could be a 10 year marriage or a 10 year battle. 
So, okay, wow. So, money again. Great. <sighs> Great. So, um, how you're communicating, also family, working extremely hard for your family. There you go. And I, I, didn't, I don't know what these cards were. Okay. So, that's also working on spiritual uh, calling and path. Spiritual calling and path. Uh, also family, meaning that you're working really hard for your family. This is probably why that I'm picking up that there's no one actually in your life, but you're, you're, um, okay, so financially, you could well be doing fine, okay, but emotionally, wanting a partner, uh, someone that's true and honest, is also confusing you and lowering your vibration, so you're more concentrated on work, okay, work. Um, it could be in order to, um, if it's your partner, it could be that they're working extremely hard in order to support you, but you're wanting them a lot, or you're actually wanting someone that's true and honest, and you're more concerned and work and on your work. This can be a spiritual relief and spiritual calling also, because this is someone like I like I used to be and still am as a scribe, someone that writes about time. You know, it's um, it, you know, if you look at the Akashic records that are um, scribed into caves, you know, this is pretty much you that wrote that. Um, and then the spirit goes behind the other end of the veil, okay, and it receives messages from you in an archive, and then it comes back to this end of the veil in order to give you a message that you could write down as an esoteric spirit writer, okay, and a blog and all that kind of stuff. And then you kind of use that information to give it to others. You know, it's a timekeeper, a timekeeper, someone that writes. So you might be a writer, or a poet, or anything like that, people that write stories you know, or life stories, or just someone that basically works generally hard as on a mundane level, but on a spiritual level and a mundane level, this is a spiritual card of ascension of someone that writes past, present, and future, that can see the future, they write it, it's like a time keeper, time keeper, okay, so you might be writing dream journals, all that kind of stuff, and keeping time, and keeping, keeping, um, an eye on your 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 money, you know, keeping an eye on your money. It can also be like indicative to banking. So you might be working at a bank. Okay, these could be people at work that kind of keep you at a low vibration and sort of pissed off, and that you're kind of like, Geez. well, you know, <laughs> you know, you've got to be very careful your, with your energy when you're spiritual. If you are very spiritual, okay, this is this will take you on a path of understanding that dark energy of low vibration can make you end up feeling like sick really not like like oh god you make me sick but the energy that's felt of someone that's guarded can make your stomach kind of churn it's also um like fear because it's fear of abandonment you know it can be a reflection it doesn't have to mean an ending it just means like fear of rejection also you know of something that's new that's new and spiritual but it can also make you feel low because it's like a missing yearning churning you know so then we go on to the fourth house, which is the foundation of the relationship that it's been built on. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, you've been communicating about work and finances and career, but you could also have been communicating about spiritual callings and belief, you know. Um, but the fourth house is more about the foundation of the relationship that it's built on. So it's really, it's, it's built off fear, you know, it's built off fear. This is, but this is also, a completion so you've learned something it's a calling a calling out for something but it's also a completion this is where things just get that bad that it's not quite reached an ending so there's not an ending but there's a completion of when you are up at night this is when you can gain a lot of your clarity I did when I went through major different things within my life when I was awake at night I used to write esoteric spirit right and I was on fire doing it <laughs> I was this wasn't like a bad energy of keeping me up real late at night. It was just something that when I was up, I was having spiritual downloads of information, okay? And then those spiritual downloads of information was leading me down a path of where I was seeing numbers and trying to figure out why I was seeing these patterns and figures of numbers and trying to put the pieces together. And it was keeping me up at night, but I was writing it down, everything. I was writing a blog, you know? And then I realized that everything I was writing, I now pretty much teach and guide people into a chain of ascension you know everybody has a guide everybody has a guru you know and then you become one yourself and you guide others you know so well there you go spiritual calling judgment so judgments needed 
So then you go to the uh, fifth house, which is the um, expression and the passion and the drama. <laughs> the drama is karma, Taurus. The karma is real. The karma is real as you can get it, really. This can also be family karma, and it can also be, um, you know, it can also be, because this is working hard for your family, and this is a calling that's needed to be made in order to raise your vibration and to drop things of a low vibration also. So if you are, if that, if this is the other person that's concentrated more on a third party relationship, then this is a calling that you need to make in order to end it because it's keeping you up late at night. Okay. If they're not, and you're not in a third party relationship, Trust me, if you're in the thick of the soup, you're gonna you're you're in the thick of the soup, and there's nothing that any clairvoyant can tell you until you go through it. There isn't, trust me, because it's indicative to time of growth. There is certain periods of time that we need with soulmate relationships. If you're looking at one, okay, where people are interested in others and they come backwards and forwards, and when you're spiritually awakened, it just builds you up to the path of the person that you're supposed to be in the end. The better person, okay, there was 16, 16 on the clock, so it's two sevens, but also 16. Um, but this is like a higher mind and a higher calling. This is also someone that's very spiritual, because these are two very spiritual cards. This is like a light worker, someone that helps. <laughs> I always say people that can uh, see dead people, which, you know, you can hear them. You can hear them, you know. But this is someone that does ascension. It's people that rise people up, rising. So you might have a rising sign in Taurus, maybe, you know. But this is um, a guide that ascension guides people upwards. So you make callings, judgment. It means that you've got a higher path and a higher calling to experience yet. Once you release and you kind of like understand that the Two of Cups behind is actually divine, it means that you are spiritual regardless because you are divinely guided for this to happen you know you're divinely guided to understand about dark energies and entities that can affect your field of vibration okay so this is more of a spiritual kind of journey of uh, money and family is what i'm picking up at the moment okay so then what i'm going to do is to everybody that doesn't know over on Vimeo, and it is pretty cheap as well, it's only like $4 or £3 to see the rest of it, if you just want to watch that. Or there is, like I said, an uh, access folder that will give you access for three months to watch everything for three months, as long as you want, streaming period for three months, for $19, okay? So it's just a good uh, opportunity for everybody, so you can watch some Moon Rising and Venus, and then you can also see all the other bonus material that I will put into some folders at some point. I'm not sure what they will be yet, but even if I don't it's still a deal of three months so you get to watch everything and the advice that I give but also over there I'm going to ask the question like I have do through the month uh, bi-weeklies is what is going on with the other person that you're interested in so if you're interested in a family member or because this can also be family or a partner okay I'm going to ask what is going on in their life and that will tell me hopefully what's going on with them and if it relates to you it does if it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't have to fit it may Okay, and then I'm going to ask the question is how do they think and feel about you? But you have to have one person in mind in order for that to relate to you. Okay, because it, sometimes it can also relate to your energy. Can't help that. It's a general reading. If you want a personal one, indicative to your personal growth and experience, then you can hit me up, like I said at the beginning. But this will be in your bi weekly folder. Okay, guys, thank you all so much for your support, kind words, and comments. I really do appreciate them, and I do appreciate people trying to help support the channel with donations and things that people have. I really do appreciate that. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you over on the flip side. Okay, Taurus, peace.